is food science the same as food technology? And what about food manufacturing and food processing? Are they different? And if so, where does food preservation fit in? I know all this food tech jargon gets super confusing. So in this video, I'm breaking down some of these terms and we'll give you some easy to follow along examples so that everything is clear. Let's start with food science. So I have my bachelor's degree and my PhD in food science. But basically all this term means is it's the study of the physical, chemical, and biological makeup of food. What this means is you study things like how to process, preserve, and package food. So if we take bananas, say for example. Now nothing is special about bananas, but I did just see them in my kitchen. So a food scientist could study bananas. Maybe they want to do an experiment where they watch how a banana ripens over time by measuring the brownness of the banana. So it starts not brown at all, over time gets brown spots until it's, you know, totally brown. And maybe they want to see if this correlates with how sweet the banana becomes over time. All this knowledge generated, all this information, this is food science. But how is food science different than food technology? Well, food technology is really the application of food science. So it's using the knowledge from food science and actually using that to manufacture and make different food products that can then be sold at the grocery store. If we go back to my banana example, we can use that information that food science generated, that research that looked at banana browning and how that changed sweetness level. We can use that knowledge so that we can manufacture a banana bread with the optimal sweetness because we know what types of banana to choose. Using that information, that's the food science. And when we make the banana bread, that is food technology. Okay, I think we have food science and food technology nailed down, so let's move on to some more confusing terms like food processing, manufacturing, and engineering. First, let's talk about food processing. This usually refers to taking different animal or plant materials and transforming them into different food products. Usually these products are more convenient or more shelf-stable, meaning they have a longer shelf life. And processing means a lot of different things, but this includes like adding other ingredients, chopping or mixing the food, packaging it up. So a food processor could take bananas and process them to make a banana puree. They would do this by mashing up the bananas, you know, pumping them over to a new tank where they add different ingredients. Maybe you need an antioxidant to extend the shelf life. And then they somehow need to pump that puree into the final packaging. All of this, this is food processing. Now processing is often confused with food manufacturing, but if you want to be really picky, they actually are different. Food manufacturing really refers to the mass production of food products. This would be like when Gerber, a very famous baby food company, they take a bunch of raw bananas and they process it into different purees, into different baby food meals at a very large scale because a parent at home could do the same thing, take a banana and smush it up and maybe feed it this puree to their baby. But it's really the scale of this that is different. And manufacturing typically refers to you making like literal tons and tons of food. A third term, food engineering, also tends to get thrown in the mix with food processing and food manufacturing. And for good reason, they're very interrelated. But if you want to be picky, again, they're just slightly different. Food engineering is more about the design and development of machines and systems that are used to manufacture food. It uses the disciplines of math, science, and engineering to create these specialized facilities where we can create food at a very rapid rate, at a very high efficiency, and in very large amounts. Food engineering would include thinking about what machine or equipment might be right for mashing up bananas into banana puree. And is there a machine that could somehow sense when the puree is the right viscosity and then stop? The food engineer would be responsible for finding what pump is able to pump banana puree from one step 
to another? What type of packaging machine do we need to safely package this banana puree into either jars or plastic pouches? It's this type of thing that a food engineer or food engineering is more involved with. Now I have about five extra bonus terms for you here that I'm gonna do a bit more rapid fire, uh, but these are super useful to understand if you're studying food science. Fermentation. This is when we use microorganisms, something like yeast or molds, to break down sugars in food and produce alcohol, acids, or gases. Think of foods like yogurt, beer, and bread. Emulsification. This is the process of combining two immiscible liquids or two liquids that don't mix together. Think of something like oil and water. You combine these two liquids to make tiny droplets and you make a semi-stable product. Extraction. So this is trying to get out a specific target compound like a flavor or a color in a raw food. Usually you have to use something like a heat or solvent to get that target compound out. Last one is enzymes and there's a ton of food enzymes. These are proteins that act as catalysts. They're sort of proteins that have a job like cutting up proteins, breaking down different food products or changing texture. If you enjoyed this video, next I would check out my video on seven different jobs a food scientist can pursue.